Hi, my name is Dr. Peter Kay, and this is the next lecture um, on the heat transfer power and environment module. And this lecture is all about uh, vapor cycles. Okay, so um, what we're going to learn um, in this session is hopefully by the end of this, you should be able to discuss the differences between the Rankin and the Carnot cycles. And we'll talk about that um, uh, in a bit, a bit later. Um, be able to analyze the performance of a ranking cycle and that would be sort of mainly from the point of view of a power generation so using the ranking cycle um, say to produce electricity discuss the reverse ranking cycle which is used um, for refrigeration and also understand um, and describe the methods for increasing the efficiency um, of, the, of the ranking cycle how, how we can do that what the advantages and disadvantages of that Okay, so first, just to put this into context, um, basically um, about 80%, around 80% of the world's power comes um, from generating um, elect electricity in this way. And essentially all you're doing is you've got a big kettle and whether you're kind of um, using a boiler, I've got a boiler, it's, it's actually a boiler but I'm representing it in the kettle here, but you, you're producing steam, that's the point I'm trying to make. But whether you're powering that with gas, coal, nuclear, renewables, you know, fusion in the future, whatever. The idea is you're generating steam, which you then pass through a steam turbine to um, generate work, which you then use to generate electricity. So what I'm going to be talking about in this section is basically what's bounded by um, this red box here. So once we've got the energy, and the, this will be covered in um, uh, a different, this is covered in a different lecture. Um, but yeah, so what I'm just looking at is what's in the box. So um, how the um, steam is generated and, and the electricity uh, and that produced. And basically that's used, um, the way that that's done is it's done with what's called the ranking cycle. And there's a schematic here. Um, I mentioned this before, um, right back at the beginning when we were talking about um, the second law of thermodynamics and um, cycles. But um, I put it here again just to recap. So this is just the, um, the principles of a ranking cycle. So um, if we start off at state one, so we've got the same working fluid in here. So the same fluid goes round and round. And typically that's water uh, for these cycles, although it doesn't have to be um, for the ranking cycle to work. So we start off at state one, which is low temperature, low pressure water. We then pass that water through a pump and we put a little bit of work into our um, into our system and we pump the water up to a higher pressure. That water then goes, pressurised water then goes into a boiler where we add heat, as I say, that can come from a variety of sources, gas, coal, etc, etc. Um, and obviously we um, turn that, um, heat that water until it turns into steam, so we, um, at point three. That steam could be, um, uh, just saturated steam or superheated steam and again we can talk about that later on. That steam is then passed through a um, steam turbine where um, work is extracted um, from the, from that uh, hot hot vapour until it gets to state four then the um, the we need to work to complete the cycle we need to get the um, uh, working fluid back to its original state so we use a condenser to remove some of the heat um, to take the um, working fluid back to its original state stay and again look back at the first session to see why we have to remove um, heat from the system so if we plot that on a TS diagram it looks something like this we've got temperature entropy like this so we can see that um, we seem that um, the pump is an isentropic process constant entropy as we put in the work that gets up onto this pressure. So remember, um, if you're not sure what a TS diagram looks like for water, go and um, search on the internet and find one. So you see that there are lines for different um, pressures. So we're moving from this pressure at P1 to this pressure at P2. And then heat the water, um, its entropy and temperature and entropy increases um, until it starts to um, boil. Then it remains a constant temperature and as it's passing through the wet steam phase until it becomes saturated steam and then it's dark and the, here we've got um, superheated steam so you can see that we've heated it past um, up to point three 
put that through the um, steam turbine and that reduces its temperature but we're, we're assuming that's a constant entropy and isentropic um, uh, expansion process and then we finally condense it back to back to state one so as I say this is the principle of the um, ranking cycle and then we're go then going to use this cycle here analyze it um, work out the thermal efficiencies and how we can improve the efficiencies of this cycle.